Hallelujah, hallelujah. Look on the neighbor. I, I, I say, greet your neighbor. Say, how are you, neighbor? Ah, uh, greet your neighbor. Say, how are you, neighbor? Again. Again. Hallelujah. Right, uh, this morning, I want to take you uh, to the book of Joshua. Fighting the strong men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That spirit of strong men that is blocking your way. In these five months, God must do something in your life. In these five months, God must change your condition. Hallelujah. Most of the time, we are ignorant. We see that there is a problem in our families, in our lives. We overlook it. When Joshua saw that they were having a problem, The Bible says he prayed in Joshua 5. A man appeared carrying a sword, dressed, ready to fight. We hear Joshua saying to the men, Are you with me? Oh, you are against me. Then we see a God giving him victory. Because God is sent an angel to fight with him. There are demons in your lives. By yourself, you cannot conquer them. There are demons in your life. By yourself, you cannot overcome them. There are demons in your life. By yourself, you cannot win. There is a spirit of a strong man that many people, they overlook. But it's there in many people's lives. You are born, all of you, you are living. No one is succeeding. There is a spirit of strong men. You are born in a family. No one is having better life. There is a spirit of strong men. You are born in a family. All of you, you are dying younger. There is a spirit of a strong man. The Bible says Jericho was well built and well protected. The spirit of a strong man is well, 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 pro well protected and well built by the devil. I don't want you to continue being ignorant and say, one day things will be fine. As long you are failing to bring that strong man down, you are not going to overcome. As long you are failing to bring that strong man down, your kids, they are going to inherit that strong man. You can't be losers, all of you. There is something wrong. You can't be losers, all your family. No one is, uh, 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 no one is achieving. There is something wrong. The Bible says, ask you shall be given. Seek you shall find. Knock the door shall be opened for you. 
If you ask, you see God not giving to you. There is a spirit in the midst between you and God who is supposed to answer your prayers. Because he is a healing God. If you pray for healing, he doesn't heal you. There is a spirit of a strong man that is in between you and your healing. I have seen happening in the families. A week ago, I spoke to one of my girls. All of them, eight of them, they have divorced. She was thinking that there is a witchcraft. I looked at her. We were talking. She was talking. I listened. When she was done, I said, are you done? She said, yes. He said, Papa, tell me who's, who's witching as, as a strong man. Can you say you spirit of a strong man? Ah, can you say you spirit of a strong man? Again. Again. Yes, he, he, she said to me, I believe there is witchcraft. Someone doesn't like us. Someone doesn't want us. Then God replied to me, say, there is no witchcraft here. There is a strong man. For them to overcome, they have to overcome this strong man that has been terrorizing their family from generation to generation. Some other demons are old in your life as older than your great-grandfathers. Some other sufferings that you are carrying, they are older as, as, as the 1,000 years. You are carrying the spirit of poverty that was created by this a, a strong man in your family 1,000 years ago. By yourself, you cannot overcome. God must help you. Every year in your family, you don't gather and celebrate. When you gather, there is something terrible that has happened. Who's creating that? But every Sunday, all of you, you go to churches, you pray to God for a protection. But when protection is supposed to come, something bad must happen. Every year in your family, you are burying somebody. There is a demon that is doing that. As long you are not ready to fight with the spirit of a strong man, you are not going to overcome. Believe me, God must change your life. This, August, this, this month of August, God must do something. Say, Lord Jesus. Do something for me. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Do something for me. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. When the spirit of a strong man become part of your family, wrong become normal. Everything wrong that is happening in your family, it becomes normal. How can you say everything is normal while there is a problem? This young girl of mine, she said all of them eight, they have divorced. I was quiet listening. Then God is saying to me, there is no witchcraft. Then I say to God, then if there is no witchcraft, who is doing that? He said, a demon of a strong man. This strong man has been part of their life from generation to generation. If you think you can overcome, I want to tell you, uh, yourself, by yourself you cannot overcome. Hallelujah. I am. You know, when strong man is part of you, he blocks everything. People, they phone you. They promise you good. But when good is about to arrive, bad arrive first. 
At the workplace, they promise you promotion. When the about to promote somebody, they promote your neighbor. Every day when fever is about to locate you, one must grab it before, uh, uh, before you. Every time when a fever is about to happen in your life, someone must grab it before you. But you are thinking that is normal. Jesus he said in, in Matthew 17, in verse 21, only through and fasting, he said, this type, of, this type of this spirit, it doesn't just go peaceful or easy. It goes outside through fasting and prayer. Can I say fasting and prayer? Again? Can I say fasting and prayer? He said, this type of these demons, they don't go outside peaceful. They go outside through fasting and prayer. I am. When strong men become part of your life, when strong men become part of you, when strong men become part of your problem, you can't be losers, all of you in your family. There is a strong man there. I need you to take your finger, point your strong man, and say, you spirit of strong men. I know you know there is a strong man in your family. Say, you spirit of a strong man. Say, you spirit of a strong man. Hey, you people, I'm not your strong man. Uh -uh, I'm not your strong man. Why are you talking like I'm your strong man? Can you say, you spirit of a strong man. <laughs> say, enough is enough. <laughs> say, you spirit of a strong man. <laughs> enough is enough. All, all your family members, this family, they said, there are eight. All of them, they have divorced. I said, what? In your family, you are having a same scenario again. There is a problem. Every year, you have to gather people. Instead of celebrating, they must cry. In your family, every year, you must lose a lot of money. Not building progress, but feeding demons. Because there is something bad that must happen that will take all your salaries. All of you, you gather all the time. You are all broke. Are you? No one in your family can give one someone a, a dollar or a ten rand. Why? Because all of you are broke. You can't be poor, all of you. There is a strong man there. You can't be poor, all of you. There is a strong man. But because we have overlooked what is happening in our, in our lives, we have overlooked what is happening in our family, we behave like everything is fine. I am. If you hear, you hear me this morning, shout amen. That strong man must fall down. I say that strong man must fall down. That strong man must fall down. Hallelujah. God decided to ask you shall be given. Then when I'm asking if God eh, doesn't give me, it doesn't mean that God doesn't hear my answer and eh, my prayers. There is someone who's standing bef between me and God. You must face that. Jericho was the only test that Joshua had. The Papa said Jericho was well built and well protected. If Joshua didn't pray, God wasn't going to send an angel. If God didn't send an angel, Joshua wasn't going to be victorious. Same applies to you. If God doesn't have mercy on you today, you are not going to be victorious. If God doesn't have mercy on you, you are going to leave that demon and your kids, they are going to inherit it. Aye, aye. You are broke.
broke all of you in the family. No one can give someone milli milli. You are broke all of you in the family. No one can borrow someone. When you phone you, a, a, a one of your family, before you say, I want to ask you for this, he said, I was about to phone you. Even me, I was about to phone you. I was, uh, I was about to phone you. I wanted to ask you this. While it's even you, you are looking for something. There is a strong man in that family. Hallelujah. The Bible says, ask you shall be given. Can you say, ask you shall be given? Are you precious people? Can you say, ask you shall be given? You can change your life. You can turn your life around through Jesus. Stop fooling yourself, your people. Hallelujah. I said to, I said to my daughter yesterday, shout amen. amen. You find them saying they believe in ancestors. Can you say ancestors? But uh, there is a short I said to my daughter, there is a short way. Uh, if, if, if dead people, they answer our prayers. Let me tell you, me, I was going to have a, a short card to talk to these people. I was going to write a letter and go to the mortuary and talk to one, the, one of the body that is not yet buried and give that body a letter to go and give my grandfather. That's a shortcut. Why should, why should I bother myself? Because there is someone who's going there. Aye. There is only Jesus. Can you say Jesus? Are uh, you people? Can you say Jesus? I can't hear. Can you say Jesus? Only Jesus can bring the strong man down. Yeah, my tongue's about here. You can't be losers, all of you. Some other things is not witchcraft. There is a demon here. Devil is, devil is always an opportunist. He is always ahead because he knows we don't know how to pray proper. He is a gracious God. He wants to change your life today. You can't, all of you, die younger. There is a strong man. Aye! You shall not die. Say, I shall not die. I refuse. I say, I refuse. The Bible says you were given authority. Do you know that you were given authority? You were given authority. You are the captain of your life, the master of your soul. Say, I refuse. Say, I refuse. I shall not die. Say, I refuse. I shall not die. Yeah, my tongue's about here. Yeah. God gave you authority. But it is your time to fight with your Jericho for God to bring your Jericho down. We are so ignorant. I have seen people inheriting a, 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 a things, a, inheriting demons while they are so very young. In a family of, of uh, this family, they drink. You find that they are drinking. When they are drinking, they start uh, 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 making these young kids as, as smaller as one year, two years to start drinking beer. They introduce them to that strong man. When they reach six years, they are graduates. Then later, you'll be crying, saying, my kids are failures. Who introduced them to a demon? What are you expecting? You introduce them to a spirit that you inherited from your grand grandfathers. Coming, your grandfathers, they inherited, your father inherited the spirit. You inherited the demon. You are giving those kids a demon. What are you expecting? Enough is enough. You are not going to end your year like that. Say, enough is enough. I say enough is enough. The problem, we inherit spirits. Then we allow those spirits to be part of us. Let me tell you something. If your father died younger, there is a possibility you die younger. 
Hear me, hear me. I'm telling you the truth. I am. Say in the name of Jesus. You listen to me. If there is no one in your family that has lived until rich gray hair, there is a possibility you are going to die young. If there is no one in your family that has achieved and be, bought a wheelbarrow, there is a possibility you are going to die without a wheelbarrow. If there is no one in your family that has achieved a, a, and entered an aeroplane and went a, 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 in another a town, there is a possibility you can't even enter a car. If there is no one in your family that has been a gathered and celebrated by family members, there is a possibility you will die a failure. If there is no one in your family that a, a God created someone greater through that person, there is a possibility you will die a failure. Tell death you are a liar. I'm not your deaf you people. Tell death you are a liar. Say you, spirit of a strong man. Hear my voice. Enough is enough. Am I talking about here? You are not special than your father. You are not special than your mother. You are not special than your sister. You are sharing the same blood. You were born the same way. One way or the other. You inherited the strong man. What makes you to be different than your sister? It is because you, you have a relationship with Jesus. What makes you to be different between you and your father? You have a relationship with Jesus. But if you ignore that there is a spirit in your family, you are going to inherit that spirit. If you ignore there is a problem in your family, you are going to inherit that problem. The only way for you to come out of that problem is for you to, 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 to call Jesus. You invite Jesus to come down. When he comes down, he will make you to overcome that spirit. I am. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, enough is enough. Say, Lord Jesus, enough is enough. Hallelujah. You will be still fooling each other. All things, all will be well. All will be what? You are fooling each other. That demon doesn't, does, 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 doesn't run away from that song. You can change what is happening. Joshua inherited the journey of Moses. He didn't start the journey. Moses started the journey. But when he was alone, we hear God saying to Joshua, in Joshua 1, be strong, have courage. That's what I'm saying to you. Your family members, they may not be prayerful, but I'm saying to you, be strong, have courage. Hallelujah. Your brothers, they may not be Christians, but I'm saying to you, be strong, have courage. Your family members, they may not be a, a Christians, I'm saying to you, be strong, have courage. Hear my tongues about here. Tell them about be strong. Have courage. Joshua, God said to Joshua, be strong, have courage. Read all my commandments that were written down by my servant Moses. Don't turn left, don't turn right. Our problem when we enter in churches, we start turning left and right. Who told you to do so? Aye! Tell her, but don't turn left. Don't turn right. I, 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 I tell her, but don't turn left. Don't turn right. Let me tell you something. This journey, you must be like a horse with blinkers. You look forward. You don't look back. You don't look left. You don't look right. Aye! This journey needs someone who's wearing blinkers. God said to Joshua, Don't 
don't turn left. Don't turn right. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Ay, ay, ay. Say in the name of Jesus. God wants you to be strong and have courage. God wants you to be strong and have courage. Hallelujah. You are going to make it. Look on the neighbor, tell your neighbor, I'm going to make it. It doesn't matter your neighbor believes in you or whatever. It doesn't matter. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to make it. <laughs> Again. Yeah, it's not about your neighbor. It's about what is in you. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to make it. Again. You can rewrite the history of your family. I know you can do so. God said, be strong, have courage. You can do it, Joshua. Don't turn left, don't turn right. Always focus and move forward. God, he was saying to Joshua, I know there are things that are gonna, uh, that are gonna deceive you, but I'm saying to you, don't allow to be deceived. God is saying to Joshua, I know there are a lot of things that will try to bring you down. Never allow those things to bring you down. That strong woman must come down. For how long? Hallelujah. For how long are you going to allow that demon to dominate? For how long are you going to allow that demon to continue doing what he's doing? Maybe you are a parent here. All your kids are losers. There is a strong man in that family. And you are the only one who can invite God to bring that strong man down. All your brothers, all your sisters, they are losers. No one is having a better life. There is a strong man. Those who are successful outside, they have five fingers like you. They eat, uh, they eat and drink tea like you. The difference between you and them, they overcome the strong man. A lot of families, they are suffering from this demon. is oppressing a lot of people. It is only through Jesus whereby we can overcome. It is only through Jesus whereby we can overcome and be what God wants us to be. Hallelujah. The Bible, if the Bible say, ask you shall be given. Can I say, ask you shall be given? Then if I ask, then I'm not given. There, is a, there, is, there are two possibilities. It's either I'm the problem or there is a problem. Because the Bible say, I must ask, I shall be given. If God doesn't answer my prayer, it's either I am the problem or there is a problem. I have seen what strong men does in people's lives. He takes happiness away. You are even doubting maybe your Christianity because of things that they are happening in your life. Take your life serious. When Joshua, he saw that he was about to cross the river Jordan, they were crossing, going straight to Jericho. God, he said, tell them to examine themselves. They must know that Jericho won't be a walkover, but through my instructions, they can overcome. By ourselves, we cannot overcome anything. Hallelujah. When you are having a problem, you must know. You are not alone in that problem. Don't allow the problem to make you turn right or turn left. When you are having a situation, you must know you are not alone. Don't allow that situation to make you turn left or turn right. 
When you are having a problem, you must, Allah, you must understand you are not alone. Don't allow that situation to make you turn left or turn right. God, he said to Joshua, be strong, have courage. Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you don't bring that strong man down, you are not going to win it. If you are not going to overcome that strong man, you are going to suffer like everyone. Many people, they inherit sicknesses that they don't know how they started. In every family, there is a demon. It's all up to you how you treat that strong man. In every family, there is a strong man. It's all up to you how you fight with that strong man. In every family, there is a strong man. It's all up to you how you fit that strong man. In every family, there is a strong man. It's all up to you how you treat that strong man. In every family, there is a problem. It's all up to you. Do you turn left or right? Or you focus and call the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you say in the name of Jesus? Say in the name of Jesus. I don't want you to be here. You go home again with the same demon. Your story must change. I don't want you to be here. You go home again with the same demon. Don't ignore the problem that is happening in your families. That's the problem about Christians. We ignore problems that are happening in our families because we are ignorant. We ignore the problems that are happening in our families because we think that we are Christians. Joshua was a leader, but he prayed to God. He needed help. God descended an angel. We hear Joshua asking, are you with me or against me? The angel said to Joshua, I'm here to help you. I'm here to what? I'm here to help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, help me, O Lord. Ah, you people will chase all of you. Can you say, help me, O Lord? Again. Again. When you sleep at home, nothing will change. Let me tell you something. Don't fool yourself. When you sleep at home, nothing will change. When I was praying a Friday on prayer line and all night uh, on or healing school, I said to another young man, go and find church. You go to church this Sunday. He was saying to me, he's praying at home. <laughs> Hallelujah. I have heard that song. It's strong man who's talking, not you. Hallelujah. When you meet people with strong men, when you ask them why I'm not going to church, they say, ah, churches. Ah, what? Ah, churches. What's wrong with churches? Ah, churches. You know, I'll go, sir, but you know, the, me, I pray by myself. Say, you demon. Say you demon. Say you demon. I know it is you. Enough is enough. The Bible says in Second Apostle Peter 3, in verse 5, to God, thousand days. Thousand years are equivalent to one day. Do you hear me? What you failed to do for all these years, you can achieve those things in one day. 
There is no problem that is permanent. Everything is temporary. That's why even you, you are temporary. No one will last forever. One way or the other, we know we are supposed to go. There is no condition that is permanent. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus. A mess on me. Hallelujah. That strong man must come down. Your Jericho must come down. You can bring it down. I want to tell you something. Strong man allows people to be Christians. I've seen many people when they're about to die, God, I, I, see, I see devil stealing them from God. There are few people who die in the hands of the, of, of the Lord. Many of them, strong men, he makes sure that he demolishes the relationship between them and God. You suffer here, you don't enter heaven again. You don't have peace. 